Chapter 1256, Torn Body and Crushed Bones. Li Kai seemed to be in a trance as he didn't answer anyone. This chess match was very messy. No one could see what kind of chess game this was because the pieces were placed outrageously, as if a little child had randomly put them there. The statue sitting on the other side seemed to be a woman, judging by its appearance. However, the style in which it was carved was very vague, so people couldn't discern her features. However, upon a closer inspection of its contours, it was clear that it wasn't the creator who chose to sculpt in this vague manner, it was because the woman didn't want the world to see her true appearance. It was hidden like Mount Lashan amid the clouds. Li Kai remained there motionlessly, as if he had turned into stone as well. Brother Li, how did you get in? Jian Ziti took a look around and found that no one else was here. He became quite puzzled because if the people in the clan didn't open it, outsiders shouldn't have been able to enter. Nevertheless, Li Kai continued to sit there, frozen. Who knows if he was enchanted by the chess match or something else. All in all, he seems to be shut off from the rest of the world. No one expected Li Kai to be playing chess against a statue after leaving so early in the morning. They took a look at the messy board and didn't understand what was going on. Miss Lin, who had a very favorable impression of him, bent down and whispered with a gentle demeanor. Young noble, are you okay? There was still no reply from the seemingly petrified Li Kai. The scion became jealous after seeing her gentle demeanor towards Li Kai. His eyes turned cold as he sneered. H.M.P.H. It's only a statue and a dumb game. What's the point of acting all mysterious? Does he really think he's all that? Using this board to comprehend the grand Tao of the Nine Heavens? H.M.P.H. He's just dressing up as God and playing the devil to act cool. Miss Lin, who already hated him, became even more unhappy. She frowned in response. Young noble Li is deep in focus right now, who says he is pretending. Ha! Deep in focus? The scion became even more jealous after hearing Miss Lin speak out for Li Kai. He smirked and said with disdain, That's only a broken statue. Does he need to contemplate so hard against a statue? Only a fool would need to do so. Perhaps this statue was picked up from a rubbish heap. Hey, a work without any craftsmanship or art, a piece of garbage that only a fool would take seriously. Jian Ziyati's expression soured after hearing this, but he was a cultured person and didn't show his hostility in public. Unfortunately, the sign was blinded by his own jealousy and didn't think too much or notice the look on Jian Ziyati's face. Fia Long also shook his head and laughed. Sion, you shouldn't laugh at a guy. People can be a little bit eccentric. Staring at a statue in a daze, this is nothing, only a type of mental disorder. I heard some miracle doctors can cure this illness in the Dragon Demon Sea. Li Kai ruined his business with Hong Yujiao time and time again, so Fia Long wanted to kill him. Because of this, he naturally seized this opportunity to ridicule him. Mental disorder? The science sneered, this is far worse than a mental disorder. It is an abnormal and perverted taste. Only an extremely wretched scoundrel would have fantasies towards such an ugly statue, only a monster would be interested in this stone abomination. The Cyan had lost his rational restraints and didn't realize that his words were offending other people. Jian Ziyati's expression was becoming worse and worse. Prior to this, he was indifferent towards Fia Long's taunting of Li Kai. After all, that was their personal feud. But now, the Cyan not only insulted Li Kai, but also the statue. This was a great symbol in their clan, so how could Jian Ziyati not become mad? At this time, Li Kai suddenly stood up and went outside. Oh, did I touch a nerve? Are you too ashamed now and want to run away? The Cyan guffawed and felt the joy of victory after seeing Li Kai leaving without a word. Fia Long echoed cheerfully as well. Looks like he is at least aware of his lowliness. Cyan. You exposing his fetish left him no face to stay here any longer. Roll out here and accept your death lest your lowly blood stain the serenity of this place. Li Kai coldly uttered from outside of the ancient courtyard. The initially angry Cyan became even more furious. He snorted in response. Li, you think I'm afraid of you? The person who is about to die has yet to be determined. With that, he rushed outside as well. That's right, don't think you can run rampant just because you are a tree father's disciple. Fia Long snorted and darted outside. Li Kai was emotionless. This time around, the host, Jian Ziti, didn't bother interfering. He stood there with both arms crossed in front of his chest and indifferently watched events unfold. He was angry this time. It was already quite polite of him to not attack the sign for insulting his ancestor, let alone stopping the fight. Li Kai gave him a chilling glare before leisurely asking, How do the two of you want to die? So confident. Fia Long sneered and coldly responded, Li Kai, do you really think we are fish on the chopping block? The only reason I have yet to kill you is because Queen Gong Sun has already claimed your dog life. But if you provoke me, I'll still kill you all the same. Less blabbering, come together, I will give you two the first strike. Li Kai was unusually cold. Those who knew him would find this whole scene very surprising and become frightened. They knew that when he had such a cold appearance, his bloodthirst would be roused. At such a juncture, he would start killing without mercy no matter who the opponent might be. In fact, Li Kai viewed these two as ants, so he could turn a deaf ear to their jeering. Unfortunately, they were fatally naive and insulted the statue. After uttering those words, their fates were sealed. No one would be able to save them from certain demise. How arrogant. The scion crazily laughed before stating, Li, who the hell do you think you are? Do you really think that having a tree father for a master is that great? My ancestor was an invincible sea god. Your background is nothing in comparison. The bloodshark sovereign from their village had been recognized by the trident, but it eventually abandoned him so he failed to become a full-fledged sea god. Nevertheless, the village still took pride in him being accepted by the trident and claimed that their ancestor was a sea god. Li Kai coldly declared without batting an eye, 
Go, I shall kill the both of you with one move. Fialong angrily replied, Very well, Li Kai. The Cyan and I will test your skill. The Cyan took out a crimson blade with a bloody mist billowing around it. He licked his lips while his eyes revealed a bloodthirsty glint before speaking. Little animal, my blade has not tasted blood in a long time, I'll let it have its fill today. Miss Lin turned pale from shock and kindly reminded Li Kei, Young noble, be careful of his blade. Her demeanor only further ignited the Cyan's fury. He furiously screamed, Little animal, die. With that, his body turned into a bloody ray as he came slashing towards Li Kai. A bang was followed by a snap, and then the harsh sound of bones cracking. Everyone saw Li Kai fling the Cyan straight to the ground with one hand. The ground cracked along with the Cyan's flesh. Li Kai then grabbed him by the leg and continued to smash him mercilessly, causing his blood to splash everywhere. Li Kai was too fast and no one could even see how the Cyan fell into his hands. They only saw this smashing. Fleshy bits began to fly alongside the blood. At this time, these broken bits of meat were still bouncing on the ground, drenched in warm blood. 